Oh my god. We almost lost the tent. Oh. We almost lost the tent. So I think that the big one was the one that we went through, the first one. Um, there's stuff like popping up everywhere, all around. We're at like 10,000 feet right now, so nine. We're at 9,000 feet. So you're on a mountain, like, you know, the weather comes and goes pretty quickly. I mean, it's sunny and calm, and then it's like, you know, your tents across the lake. Yeah, this tent wants to fly away. No, I got it. Ugh. Oh, I guess we got our free shower today. Free shower, she said. Ugh. storm pass you know i feel bad for the people that are up on actual on a hike on top of the mountain we just did mount elbert mostly you know we were at 14 we almost did <laughs> we hit 14,000 feet elevation and i could only imagine being up there it would be scary in the condition heck. i was at like how weak and fatigued i was um you were not in a good place mentally to handle a big storm like this no, no, that would have not been good at all. So, uh, but it's weird. It's like, it's coming. There's stuff popping up over the mountain. There's stuff in front of us. And uh, there's not much we can really do, but just, I mean, we're not going to set up. There's people all around us. It's Friday. So uh, people are coming into these boondocking spots. Yeah, it's four o'clock on a Friday. This is when like- They're trying heavy... to save their spots and- Yeah, yeah. We're already here, so we're not worried about it. We'd much rather save our tent and not have that thing get ripped off the back of the truck. Oh my God, what if that happened? Then we'd, we'd be more homeless than we already are. <laughs> our bathroom flew over, but it's still sitting over there. Yeah. No, I they didn't. They were whipping me in the face. Is that it? Nope. That's not it. I really wish I could have found my rain jacket. I saw you chasing the clam down. Yeah. Yeah, that sucked. Everything's gonna be pretty dirty. It was a pleasant day. It was a beautiful day. We just put our, you put your laptop away like 90 seconds before that came. Yeah. 90 seconds. I knew it was coming. It wasn't on the radar, it wasn't on the radar, and then we could see it, and then I could see it finally on the radar. I didn't know it was going to do this. No, that was like a severe hailstorm. Well, the winds, I mean, that took five stakes out of the clam, blew that thing. Hopefully it didn't break it. It looks like it might have broken a leg or two. 
Yeah, the wind caught the rain fly and uh, the phone was in my pocket. It was still recording. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I took my phone out to record. And then the clam like flew out of me like like that. I felt like I was Dorothy in Wiz Wizard of Oz. Mm. And so I threw my phone in my pocket and chased the clam down. And then and then I saw the the tent was like, Chris, it was lifted. This side of the tent was lifted to the other side. I felt like I jumped 10 feet in the air and grabbed the ladder and like... You pulled an Air Jordan and you grabbed it down. That's what I felt like. I wish somebody was... And you're in flip-flops. You're in what <laughs> flip-flops right now? I'm glad I have shoes on because I would not be happy if I was running around in flip-flops. Let's put the clam up and let it dry and heal. Yeah. We're lucky nothing flew into the truck and scratched it up. The clam uh, did. I like that's where I was like really trying to just grab it and rip it away from the truck. This is a really good example of why we've been um, struggling with productivity since tent, la tent life. Yes. You know, one storm comes through and four hours of your day is gone because you're nursing a storm. And so we've been here for like two days now. At this exact location. And it's been glorious. It's been glorious. We had the clam we had our outdoor kitchen set up we had our water station we were working outside with our laptops we're getting solar from the solar panel the battery's getting charged up like every day uh pretty good gig going on and then this storm just literally just leveled us i mean basically we have like a dirt patch again speaking of we could flip our truck around to get solar the rest of the day since we're packed up yeah i thought about repositioning or something um but whatever. One thing at a time. Yeah. Your eyes are all bloodshot. Are mine? No, they're pretty white. Mine are always red in the sun. Like we're we getting a lot of sun here. Yeah. Did I mention we're on top of a mountain? <laughs> a lot of sun. Like you know, we had a great workout. Um, yeah, we got our workout in literally half an hour before it rained. Oh, it's great. It was great. That's what. So we. Got done with the workout. We're, I was sitting down to work in the clam, and she was about to like cook a little. I was gonna make lunch. Little lunch. I got my cold plate made, and then I was about to cook errands on the grill, and then the rain came. So my plate sat in here for two hours, which I finally just ate, really just because I was sick of looking at it and holding it, and it smelled like sauerkraut in here. Yeah, and I was watching the radar, and I was watching this storm that was facing us, and. Uh, I just knew like within like five, 10 minutes, it was coming. Maybe we had about 15 minutes. We started packing up. We did start packing. Yeah, we packed up a lot of stuff, but obviously we still had everything outside, you know, the tent and everything in it. And we basically just got, you know, some of the loose stuff, our laptops, electronics and things like that mm -hmm. put away. And then, and then it started raining and I just stayed inside the tent just to, make sure everything was okay i thought it was gonna pass pretty quickly you could see on the radar there were just little tiny blips everywhere yeah you stayed in the tent and you told me to seek shelter in the truck just yeah. like a gentleman <laughs> and then so I i'm got, going down with the ship so then i got in the truck literally i got in here sat my plate down right here i took down our visor 30 seconds later right here i see aaron chasing the clam and the clam used to be that way. I think that was hail. I think it was just hard, cold rain. It was 100% hail. I didn't see it. It was anything. hitting me in my face. I know, it was hail. It was small, pellet-sized hail. It was pretty bad. That was a quick storm. We've, we've, uh, well, you know, now that I think about it. Well? Last time we were in Colorado with the van, 
that's exactly when we had this type of weather. Remember, we were on top of the mountain and it would like oh, gush and rain yeah. and then like hail would come. Near Salida. And then the sun would be back out. We were on top of Mount that's, Chavano. That's when we left. And the day after we left, it snowed. And it's, then it snowed. And that yeah. was in June. Yeah. And that was Mount Chavano. And um, I think that's around eight or nine or 10,000 feet as well. We also had mice up there. Mm -hmm. That's why you didn't like Colorado last year. It's tough. It's tough living. It's it's um, it's a cruel mistress. It's like it's beautiful and <laughs> and awesome. And then like you mean it, the mobile lifestyle in general. No, Colorado. Oh, <laughs> and then it like twists and turns into like a hailstorm and a windstorm and like hey, crushes your house. The adventurous people live here. It's pretty. It is definitely adventurous. It's, it's pretty adventurous. cool. Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely digging it more this time you can, than last time. I can time. tell you have a fresh attitude, and I know I can tell you like it. Yeah, I am really missing an RV at this point, though, because like, it's just really hard to be living outside full time. It just it is. Yeah, with your stuff getting wet, like packing and unpacking. You know, we should have started counting the amount of times we've unpacked and packed and unpacked and packed, like. In the past week, it's been. If you were to average out the past times. the past seven days, I think we've done a full pack up and tear down. Five of those seven days, there's yes. only been one or two days where we didn't have to pack things up. Maybe it's maybe it's six or seven days. We stayed two nights at Kelly Doll, paid campground. But we had to pack up there to go to get service. That's right. We did pack up the one day to go. So that work. that's still a goose egg. And then we stayed two nights at uh, that boondocking spot at Magnolia West. Okay, yep. That was our true two days there, and then this is our two days here, so. But we packed up here. <laughs> <laughs> we just packed up. There's chainsawing over there. There's chainsawing in the middle of this mountain. Just heard the rumble of that big, dark cloud right there. We basically packed up camp, besides a few big things because you really have to organize this bed um, strategically for everything to fit like you can't just throw it in and I don't know the puzzle that Aaron has masterminded yeah and we just don't have time so we've done the best we can we're just wrapping up these last couple things and we'll see you on the inside of the truck. We got here on Wednesday night and we're about out of water. That storm, we're already low on water and that storm tipped over our Berkey, which was full. So we lost a gallon and a half of water. We only came It was in... like a movie where like you're in the desert. I and like you have my this, water! This little tiny bit of water left and somebody like spills it into the desert dirt. Well, and then I had to clean the dirt out of the Berkey and I had to like sparingly use water. I'm like using our, we lost water and then I'm trying to clean that. Oh. But anyway, my point is we were planning to go into town um, probably Sunday or Monday, most likely Monday because I work all day on Sunday. And now we're all packed up. Like this is when you go to town. Like we just did all the work to pack up. You know, our big thing that we keep talking about is packing up and how much how much of a burden it's been for us but so the the moral of this particular vlog is that it's super unpredictable we have not ran into any wind a lot of rain but very gentle soft rain and so this was the first time we had wind and rain so kind of like a storm and we haven't experienced that yet in the tent and it's not something you just sit and you know i mean it was literally like taking everything from us and blowing away it was that i don't know what the gusts were 30 40 50 miles um enough to blow our clam out and almost take out our tent so life's tough we prevailed <laughs> the mountain mount albert beat us while we're out there in the rain we were just laughing what else do you do yes all you can do is laugh all right where is the line uh, between dreaming and feeling pain? It's four o'clock in the evening I haven't left my room But the truth is If I'm honest I feel stuck here in the middle Am I one of those crazy people should I
last day.